Me starting the day off motivated and then completely losing that energy by like noon. <laughs> it's more likely than you think. It's fine. We're here. We're doing this. You may remember a few weeks ago, I did a birthday cake for the pandemic. It was hilarious. You can go watch it now if you haven't. It's pretty good. I'm proud of that video. But there were a lot of cake scraps left over, which I put in a bag and stuck them in the freezer and saved them for a rainy day. Well, if you couldn't tell from the opening sequence of this video, today is that day. It is very much rainy. And I'm out of, like, sweet treats to eat. And I, I need... Where? Where, brain? Where, brain? Go? Anyway, so today I am going to make them into cake, bomb, ball, truffles, whatever you want to call them. You take your cake scraps, you get, you rehydrate them, you make little balls, you make little ugh, delicious. I think I'm going to call them truffles because like bombs just sounds too aggressive for me. Balls just sounds too balls. And I don't like cake pops. I don't like the stick. It's too annoying. Plus, I'm going to be rolling them using a baking school approved method. It's the cla- it's the fog! It's get- it's in here. Okay. Let's go. Hello, and welcome to another episode of I Don't Have the Energy to Make You Believe My Kitchen is Always Clean, and why did you decide to come on now? The baking show. I have in my possession the cake scraps, which I took out of the freezer and thawed in the fridge, and the leftover cream cheese icing, which should be enough. We'll see if we need any extra moisture. Trying to find an angle that gets both me and the food in the frame is a frustrating and ever-going battle that really makes me wish I had a kitchen island and also natural light. But we can't have everything we want, can we? First, just dump him in the bowl. This smells good. So the first step is to reduce the cake scraps to crumbs. Even the mixer doesn't get everything, I had a few big stubborn chunks that I had to crumble by hand. I added milk because my cake was very dry and I wanted something that would absorb quickly. And then I added my cream cheese icing which is delicious and binds the whole thing together. So at this point, you literally just feel it and taste it and see what it's like. Mm. I'm scared to add too much more buttercream because I don't want it to become so soft that it can't be worked with. I want to see if mixing it a little longer helps. It's pretty good. I'm going to set it aside to see if it'll slurp up the liquids and become softer. Yeah. Ooh, I have the perfect bowl. Welcome back, it is a few hours later. The dough has had time to chill in the fridge and now it is ready to be a scoop -ed. I flip and love ice cream scoops. They make it so easy to scoop out the exact right amount of dough. It's consistent, they're all the same size. It is beautiful. them to make them nice and smooth. To 
finish them off, you melt a little bit of white chocolate and pull out the leftover cake crumbs from the cake recipe that you totally made. Put some of the melted chocolate between your palms and roll the truffle around to get a very light coating. This is the way we were taught to do it in pastry school and it ensures that you don't end up with a really thick layer of chocolate. Immediately toss the truffle into the crumbs and coat it. Just a heads up, keeping the chocolate only on your palms means your fingertips are dry and will have a much easier time handling the truffles. done you can put them in the fridge or freezer to set up and make them a lot easier to handle and then they're good to go. I put mine in pretty cups because I'm filming and aesthetic is everything baby. It is Sunday, it is raining again, still. I don't know if it ever really stopped, but I guess that's what spring is all about. And I'm actually finally about to eat one of these. <laughs> that's damn good. One of my big issues with cake bombs, balls, pops, whatever you wanna call them, is all the chocolate on the outside. I think it's just way too sweet. But this with like the slightly salty crumbs on the outside, it's just, I don't want to tell you, it's better. I barely even notice or taste the white chocolate. Thank you for spending a cozy rainy day vlog type thing with me. On days like today, I really just want tea and buttered toast. And I have to force myself to eat real food that just isn't those things. Maybe it's all the British in me, I don't know. But it's so gray out and I just feel, I need blankets. Okay, I'm gonna go and actually edit this video now. <laughs> All right. See you next week. Bye. Mm -hmm.